So what I'm trying to demonstrate here is uh, the situation where you want to create a IIS FTP site, um, have users log in and actually be isolated to their home directory, but also have one user, a bunch of users who are FTP admins who can access everybody else's directory. Um, and that might be the situation where, say, your operations or production people don't necessarily have access to the server itself, um, but just log in through FTP. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the FTP site. Um, and I'm just going to call it default FTP site. And I'm going to point it to the typical INET pub FTT, uh, FTP route. Uh, just normal FTP, no SSL or no um, F FTPS. Uh, so I'm um, just going to click next. Uh, basic authentication is active. And now I'm going to go ahead and create the users. I'm going to go into administrative tools, uh, computer management to create the local users. And I'm going to create uh, FTP admin01, that's the admin user. I'm, I'm just going to make uh, all the passwords, password123. So, let me do that, uh, create, and I'm going to now create the normal FTP users, FTP user 1, FTP user 2, FTP user 0, 3, Okay, so you see here I have four FTP users, one admin, and three normal users. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is create the groups. So I'm going to create two groups, uh, FTP admin, and then I'm going to add uh, the FTP admin 01. users and I'm going to add all the normal users there and this is just to manage the permissions a lot easier um, at the parent uh, folder level or just as a group in general so FTP user 01, 0203, check names, okay got that all right and I'm going to create so you'll see now I have two groups that I can manage permissions against um, so going back to what I'm trying to do and the steps I'm going to do it in. So I'm going to post all of these steps in um, the video. And you, you don't necessarily have to go in order, um, in one, two, three order. Uh, so, And I'm actually not going to go in order, uh, likely. So, um, so now that I created the site and I created the users, uh, next I'm going to create the folder. So I'm at my uh, C drive root directory and I'm going to create just an FTP root folder. And under FTP root, I'm going to create the home directories for each one of my four users. So right now I'm just setting up the host site. So um, after you set up the host site, when, when you add a user, you don't have to go through all of these steps, just some of them. Uh, so I have now the home directories for my FTP user 01, 0203, and the home directory has to be the exact same name as the user itself. So you'll see that um, these are the, also the user names. So now that I have that created, I actually have to um, give permissions, NT file permissions to 
the admin because the admin is going to be able to read and write into everybody's uh, directory. So I'm going to add the group FTP admins. So anybody in the FTP admins group will actually be able to administer all the users under the FTP site. So I uh, gave full control to all the FTP admins. And this is at uh, the C drive F FTP root. And what I'm going to do now is create a virtual directory. And you have to name it local user. And I'm going to point it to this uh, FTP root. Um, you have to name it local user when you use the um, the uh, user isolation. It's just whatever IS convention. So uh, the way I found that out was I actually used sys internal tools and I traced what the FTP server was trying to read and write to after the FTP user logged in and I saw that it was trying to read from some directory call local user slash uh, whatever the username folder is so I realized um, it ha actually has to be a virtual folder under uh, the default FTP site named local user uh, kind of a strange convention. Um, I'm not sure it's uh, actually uh, documented anywhere. Um, so, uh, just a note there. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna click OK here and you'll see now I could see all of these users. Um, so I just want to make sure here that I've chosen the user isolation correctly so um, right now uh, it's not set to user isolation I'm going to choose the first one um, isolate users restrict users to the following directory username directory disable global virtual directories um, quite frankly I don't know exactly what all that means but it just works if you choose the first if you choose the first so um, I'm guessing that the second uh, the, the second choice here is actually the physical uh, root versus the virtual root. So I actually did create a virtual directory called local users. Uh, so maybe I have to choose the first one here. So I'm just going to click apply. And um, now I, I have to assign these permissions. So if I click on local user here, and I do the authentication, author I mean authorization rules. I have to allow the certain groups. So I'm going to allow the group FTP admins to have read and write. And I'm going to allow the FTP users to have just read. And because that's happening at the root level, uh, and, I and what I mean root level, um, all of the three of these folders are actually um, subfolders of this virtual directory. So when I do that, all of those authorization rules apply to its uh, subfolders. So for each one of these fo user home folders, I'll explicitly assign read and write to those users. So here I've highlighted FTP user 01. So what I'm going to do is um, allow for a specific user here, FTP user 01. And I'm going to do read and write. For uh, Now I'm going to highlight the FTP user 02. And I'm going to do the same thing for this user. Um, so you'll see I chose um, add allow rule, FTP user 02 for this, and read and write for this folder. And for number three, I'm going to do add allow rule, FTP user 03, read and write. And one more thing I have to do here. So, 
so far I've, I've only really set up um, the users, the FTP users to actually access their own home directory. I've done nothing so far to allow the FTP admins to um, actually access everybody else's directory. So I'm going to do that here now. I'm going to um, add a virtual directory and this virtual directory is actually the home directory of the admin so my user's name is for the admin is FTP admin 01 so I'm actually gonna create a virtual directory of the same name so that that user has a home directory to log into and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna point that home directory to the root directory of all the users uh, parent folder which is FTP root so that's a little trick there that allows uh, all the admins to actually access that directory or everybody else's directory so you'll see here um, you know the admins already have read and write to that folder of course if you had FTP admin 02 you'd have to create another home directory FTP admin 02 for that user but um, from my experience in production environments or in general you limit the number of admin users anyway so you're not going to have hundreds of these or even ten of these but maybe uh, one or two of them so uh, let's try it out and see what issues we run into so I'm gonna bring up uh, FileZilla but first let me check all the steps just to make sure I actually did them so first what I did was create the IS FTP site I did that um, create the NT security groups create the users create the folder FTP root um, added NT file permissions to FTP root um, create user folders of the same name create virtual directory local user um, I think I, yep I definitely did do that uh, so I set up the authorization for both FTP users and FTP admins and um, I created a virtual directory uh, set authorization for users home directory so I did that individually um, okay so let's try it um, I'm gonna bring up FileZilla and I'm just gonna log in as FTP user 1 okay and you see I logged into this folder here and I'm gonna try to go up one and you'll notice I can't so the user isolation is definitely there I'm just gonna create a file here that says this is FTP 01's folder um, I'm going to log in as FTP02. Uh, create a new tab for that, yes. So you'll notice here it's FTP02, that's FTP01. So I'm going to create a folder here, I mean a file here to identify that, 01.txt. I'm going to do the same thing for FTP user03. So right now I'm just logging in via FileZilla, the FTP client and FileZilla is available for free at uh, FileZilla if you just google FileZilla and download the FTP client so I'm going to identify this as FTP03 so um, if I try to go up one you'll notice I really can't I'm, I am totally isolated to that particular folder of mine and if I go on to the file system and I look so I'm on C FTP root FTP user 01 here um, you'll notice I have right on the file system this FTP 01 file that, that I created via FTP same with uh, FTP user 2 and FTP user 3 so I've proven that I am able to do that now I have to test the connectivity uh, or the login, the FTP login of the admin so I'm going to do that now establish new tab and you'll see here when I log in via the FTP admin 01 
user account, um, I could see all three of the FTP users and I could actually access all three but I can't go above that which is what I want uh, so that's FTP 01, 02 so um, to confirm I, I can actually write to that directory I just wrote a file um, and you'll see on the file system that file is written there and when I delete that also is confirmed to work so as you can see um, this is exactly what I want and um, yep, I can access read and write from all of these directories so going back to this file system here you can see the file is there when I delete so um, in summary that is how you set up access uh, is isolating the users to their own home directory but also having an admin that can access all of everybody else's directories um, alright uh, thank you for watching Bye -bye.